If you're thinking about moving to Saudi or curious about expat life here, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Tariq and I've been an expat teacher here in Saudi for the last eight years. Today, we're going to look at some things you must know before moving to this booming country. Let's kick things off with the cost of living. You might be wondering if it's expensive to live in Saudi Arabia. Well, it can be, but at the same time, it is affordable as well. From groceries to dining out, your lifestyle choices will dictate your expenses. Grocery stores vary in price. We prefer Hyper Panda or Lulu, but other popular supermarkets include Carrefour and Tamimi. You can save a lot on dining by getting the Entertainer app, which is a buy one get free voucher app. Restaurants also offer weekly deals. Now let's look at schooling. Schooling can be expensive, so when negotiating the contract, see if they can cover or give you a schooling allowance for your kids. National schools are definitely way cheaper than international schools, but Western kids may have a problem with um, the Arabic. Now let's look at housing. Housing varies significantly. This depends on your employer too. Many Westerners live in compounds, which are housing units contained in a gated community with uh, all the amenities that make life comfortable for you. They are expensive and can range from a one bedroom 80,000 real unit to a larger unit that costs about 300,000 real per year. Companies or schools sometimes provide apartment blocks for their staff. You could also get a housing allowance and source your own apartment, villa or half villa and live among the Saudis. You can pick up an apartment from about 15,000 real to 60,000 real per year. A villa is like a double story house on its own. This is how most Saudis live. A half villa is when the house is divided in two, upstairs and downstairs. They can go from about 25,000 real to about 80,000 real per year. So there's an app called Aqarat that will help you browse homes and accommodation in your city and put you in touch with relevant agencies. Link in my description. Another topic that people often inquire about is the culture of Saudi. People of Saudi Arabia are very warm and welcoming. When I walk around in my neighborhood and meet someone, he would always invite me to his house for tea or kahwa. Kahwa is the Saudi coffee. I was also recently invited to a Saudi wedding. My ex-student's older brother got married and he asked if I could join. But we'll talk more about that in another video. Can you go have some dinner now? Saudi is currently a country in transition. This point is often discussed in online communities and with expats around the world. In Saudi, you'll find a blend of tradition, culture, and modern amenities that provide you with a balanced lifestyle. Now let's talk about traffic. Traffic in Riyadh is terrible. I think the traffic system works quite well. They do make use of one-way driving as well as freeways. So most driving is at high speeds. The indicator lights on the car are actually ornaments. People in Saudi don't use indicators, so beware when you are on the road. But if you know what to expect and how to adapt, then driving here becomes second nature. Now let's talk about transport options in Saudi. The transport industry has significantly improved over the years. Saudi has started implementing the Saudi Metro Rail, uh, as well as the bus system for the city, the city of Riyadh. But it's not yet fully in use and People are still using cars at the moment. Well, most. If you're looking to buy a car, you can buy new cars financed through your bank or dealership. General payments would be for about five or six years. You can also buy second-hand cars, cash, or you can get a loan from the bank and buy a car second-hand. With regards to buying a car in Saudi, I'll do a video about that later on. Now we have services like Uber and Kareem, adding convenience to everyday life. This is a pro tip. If you are a male and plan to use Uber, I would suggest you change your name to a female name. You'll thank me later. Now let's talk about gyms and activities to do for yourself and for the family. Gyms are a bit more expensive in Saudi compared to South Africa, for example. There's a plethora of modern malls, restaurants, cafes, and entertainment that is Muslim friendly. Just a reminder, alcohol is strictly forbidden in the kingdom. Saudis also like going to istirahas. An istiraha is like a private chalet that is enclosed and it's private with a pool and a garden. We sometimes book these for weekends, get togethers, or special events like Eid. The most popular places to visit in Saudi are Makkah and Medina, which are holy sites for Muslims. Besides that, Jeddah, Riyadh and Khobar are good destinations for modern living. So if you are planning to move to Saudi, whether it is for a job or to start a new chapter in your life, Saudi has a lot to offer. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share.